Hey everybody, what is going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. We've got some more NCAA 14 coming your way here with the Coach Dunbar Snack Bar Dynasty. Now, when I signed up to be the offensive coordinator of the University of Alabama at Birmingham, I went through the schedule and I saw week two, we were going to be playing LSU. I think I'm going to lose this one and it's going to be big. Oh yeah, I would stop at my tracks if a tiger was growling and roaring at me. Jeez. Anyway... So I don't know how a one-star team could end up beating one of the best teams in the game. But it has happened before. Sometimes these smaller schools will completely upset the larger ones and that is what I'm hoping is going to happen here today. So the name of the game for me is going to be efficient passing. A lot of quick three-step drops, things like that to try uh, to utilize the advantage of the receivers just coming off the line here. Just like right with this pass with Davis who picks up 10 yards. Now, not able to get too much after the first down marker, but that's okay because it is a first down nonetheless. Now, I was trying to see if I could get one of the defenders to get caught off sides, but instead we are looking at a false start. So penalties are gonna be huge for me in this game. I cannot make any mistakes if I wanna have uh, a chance of winning here. All right, so first and 15, taking a look over to the left side, getting over over to Reeves, picks up three yards. I could have thrown to my tight end right there and would have been just as good. All right, going to be wheeling out Reeves to the right side this time, but Scott not able to hold on to it. You've probably noticed that it is raining here in this game, so the ball is going to be a lot more slippery. Catches are going to be tough. That one deflected away. Thought maybe, just maybe, somebody would be able to catch that one, but we have to punt. All right, Brown getting it over to Backman here. Five yard pickup. Gonna try and go with the running game now. I wanna test this a little bit since I'm in an all right position here. Reeves picking up three yards. Not too bad considering in the game with Troy. Every time I rushed with uh, this play here, I got four yards. So there is the first down again. Reeves on the wheel. Gonna be looking for Nelson uh, up the middle here, but Backman instead is more open. Seven yard pickup right there. Gonna be looking for Davis on this one, but He's not going to be able to make the catch on that one. Incomplete. Third and three now for UAB. Brown looking up the middle here. Just trying to get it to my triangle receiver, but wasn't there. Just a bad throw from Brown altogether. So, again, we've got a punt. 13 to nothing. This is exactly what I was expecting now. All right, Reeves not able to catch that one. This rain is killing my game plan. I'm going to try and see if I can stick with it. Davis, though, with the reception. First down and some more. That's 19 yards on that one. Not the fastest chap in the world, but hey, it works. All right, Reeves running forward here for a four-yard pickup. Going to try and go with it again because if I can just run the ball up the middle. Oh, man, never mind. I was going to say if I could do this consistently, then I may not need to risk the pass, but Davis... Trying a little juke, didn't get past the defender, of course. First down right now. All right, so we're across the 50-yard line here. Nelson with the reception. Another first down for us. So we're getting the ball moving here pretty well. Seems like some more medium-range passes are becoming a lot more efficient. Deflected away here, second and 10. Going to be looking for Reeves again, or maybe uh, square on the side, but instead I get sacked. At least it was a five-yard loss. It seems like that... My offensive line just, yeah, right there. Wasn't able to block anybody. Didn't pick up that rush. And, oh, well. Backman with the reception, making up for it here. 17-yard pickup right there. We only needed 15 to get the first down. So we're at the 10-yard line. We got first and 10. Reeves with a six-yard pickup against LSU. I'm going to call that a huge, huge run. All right, so on the play-action pass here, get it over to Davis, who gets into the end zone for a touchdown. I'm not going to lie. I really thought I was going to go this entire game without scoring a touchdown. But LSU, since they missed an extra point, now it's only six points that separate us. Davis breaking one tackle, not able to break that second one here, but picks up eight yards on that pass. So taking a look here, Nelson not able to catch that one. Had a few options on that one. I took a risk going with Nelson. Didn't turn out too well. Threw it in motion, and that really hurt me. Like, really hurt me because, well, he got in the way of Brown. Couldn't go with the handoff here, so I end up losing a couple yards, and that's going to get counted as a sack. Four verticals play right here. 
One minute, 32 seconds left in the half. Got to be going with some uh, deep passes. Caught right there. That was awesome to be able to see. Going to go with four verticals yet again. Now, in NCAA 13, four verticals was a staple of mine. In those situations here where we needed a long pass, this was the play I went with. Seems like X does a great job of being able to split the, the safeties here. Now, may not be able to do it right here, but going deep. That one's going to get deflected. If I had waited just a little bit longer, I could have gone back with X here. Second and 15, one minute and 10 seconds now left. Backman with the reception. Great block. That's what gives me the first down right there. One minute left. All right, so we're pretty close to being, oh, I might say we're actually in field goal range right now. I know when you play as a one-star team, you don't have the best players. So field goal range, well, that, that can vary quite a bit. Second and 10 now, Brown going back deep. Davis is open, makes the catch. We are within, looks like seven yards here of the goal line. First and goal, gonna be looking at Davis cutting in. Now he makes it to the two yard line. I don't know if I should try to run it or what, but 13 seconds left. Not able to catch that one. That stops the clock though. Gonna try and run it, not up the middle, but to the outside. Reeves with a touchdown, and that is gonna give us the lead over LSU by one point. Once we go ahead and kick the extra point here. But nine seconds left, LSU doesn't score. So since I kicked at the beginning, I receive in the second half. This is why I do this because I can get a quick 14 points and I might take the lead by eight if I can do this. All right, so kind of a dangerous play here, rolling, able to get it over to Davis, who makes the catch. You can see that experience. That's just racking up right now here for Coach Dunbar Snack Bar, which I'll use to improve him overall. Davis with an eight yard pickup. Slants are working pretty well. Gonna go back with the running game here with second and two, don't wanna risk anything, but Reeves, fighting forwards to get the first down. That's what I want to see out of my halfback. There's somebody who's willing to fight. All right, so Nelson, I saw that I had a couple receivers open, but Nelson was farthest downfield, so played that one pretty smart. All right, gonna look for Morris right here, who breaks over, makes the catch, gets the touchdown. How is this working against LSU? This passing game has been ridiculously effective Starting in the second quarter here, when I'd be going with some more deep passes. So this is gonna give us a 21 to 13 lead over LSU. And if I was an LSU fan right now, I would be very worried. I get the ball right back. What is this? The defense of University of Alabama at Birmingham is ridiculous right now. Either that or LSU is having some problems. Interception right here. It was not the smartest call. I really didn't see anybody else that I felt comfortable throwing it to, so that was just kind of, oh my gosh, I hope you make the catch. I paid for it right there. All right, they still don't score. LSU, what is going on? All right, get it over to Backman here on the right side. A lot of times I go with the fullback on that particular play, but so I was gonna be covered pretty well. Instead went to Backman, that turned out Perfectly. Going to go with uh, the same play, see if, the, see if it happens. But I go to left side. I'm lucky that one did not get intercepted. All right. So, going to go with some more deep passes here to see if it's going to keep working. It does. Backman with the reception, first down. That is going to put us pretty close to being in the red zone here. We're looking at the 23-yard line. Not quite there yet. But there we go. Nelson on the left side gets past the defender. And that was a great opening for me to be able to get the pass to him. A delay of game as I was trying to go ahead and put the man in motion. I thought I'd be able to hike the ball right when he was in the route here that we'd be seeing my halfback go through just to kind of serve as an extra blocker up the middle. But instead, I lose five yards. Try to go with a toss pass to the left side. Not able to get too much out of it. I haven't ran a toss play yet, so I thought that might throw him off guard. And it doesn't. All right, so that one's deflected. Third and goal now. Gonna try and see if I can find Davis open. There was the opening and he cannot hold on to it. LSU with a big stop right there. I know it gets tougher when you're in the red zone, but I'm gonna have to go ahead and kick the field goal. 24-13, 11 points separate UAB and LSU. 
All right. Still, LSU cannot score. Have they not put up any points since quarter number one? All right. Whatever. I don't know what our defense is doing. This defensive coordinator of ours, man, he deserves some type of like coach of the year award or something just for this one game. All right. Going to audible out here. I was going to go with the drop play. Didn't think it was the smart call. Glad that I did because Nelson with the catch. Got 324 yards of passing offense so far in this game. Going to go back to running the ball now. Just try and run down the clock as much as I can. Reeves picks up four. I don't want to give LSU too much time here. And if I can keep going here with the momentum that I have and score again, I think I've got this one in the back. How crazy is that? All right, that one's deflected, fourth and three. Going to be looking for either Smith or Scott up the middle. There we go. Ah, oh, dang it. On fourth, Scott drops it. Turnover on downs. There's nobody around him. Strike this one up here to the rain. Or just the fact that he's like a two-star wide receiver, but drops that one. LSU scores. 19-24 now. They missed the extra point again. I don't know. Crazy sauce. Two missed extra points in this game for LSU. A sack right there makes it third and 16. I'm, I'm worried right now. I am really worried about how this is going to turn out. But there we go. Backman with the catch. He has been the man this entire game. All right. Two minutes, five seconds now. Going to go back with the running play here. Thought they might not expect it. Pick up four. Now it's just a matter of running down the clock. Reeves not going anywhere here except for two yards. I'm done with the running right now. LSU's picking up on it. Dang it, Scott. Makes the catch. Was not able to stay in bounds. I should have gone over to Reeves on the left side instead of right. We get the ball back. LSU scored on, on that play, 25-25. 24. All right. So, offsides. These are the plays or the mistakes I was telling you I cannot afford to make. And this is the worst time to be offsides. All right, here we go. Frantically throwing downfield to Backman. Makes the reception. Right, we're at the 47 yard line here. Just got to get in field goal range. That's all we need. Scott! Oh, man! That would have been it. All right. Being rushed. Backman not able to catch that one. Hit as he attempted to make the catch, so I'm not too surprised. Third and 10. All right. Oh, I should have gotten a triangle on that one. Fourth and 10. This one is for all the marbles, you guys. So taking a look here, there it is. Morris with the catch, gets to the 26 yard line. I'm gonna call timeout with two seconds left. I'm not able to do anything at this point because I have to watch to see if we are going to get the field goal. We're in good range to be able to get this field goal. It's up and we do it. Last second field goal here wins the game. For us, we upset LSU. We did it. Now, all the credit really goes to the defense because offensively, man, we had some struggles. But of all the games of NCAA that I have played since I have started this channel, this has by far been the greatest upset that I have ever had. This was an awesome game. It really gets me excited for how this dynasty is going to go. Man, this was great. Thanks for watching this, you guys. I sure do appreciate it. More of Coach Dunbar Snack Bar to come later on, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and all that great jazz. All you got to do is check the description below. But you guys are awesome people. You really are. Thank you again for watching. I'm excited about this. I hope you guys have a good one.